morning. I'm Mary. Good morning. I'm Linda. Welcome. We're picking my sisters in the kitchen. Um, we're, um, it's, I haven't been outside. How, is it? It was outside? a huge frost. It yeah. looked like snow on the ground and on the rooftops. Yeah. It's going to warm up though, but it was cold. It was cold this yes. morning, yeah. Um, I know, I knew it was cold because the furs kept coming <laughs> off and on. But, um, anyway, we're going to be doing, um, Santa Fe peppers, and it's basically stuffed peppers. But uh, for all you uh, people who have purchased one of our Pinky Mouse cook cookbooks, uh, recipes from the old home place, this recipe is in our cookbook. I think it's on page 90. Let's see. No, this one's on page 71. On page 71 of our cookbook. So if you haven't purchased a cookbook, you can go to our website, which is PinkyMouseKitchen.com. Um, and you scroll down and and, uh, and you'll see the recipes from the old home place and you'll have this recipe um, to to make <laughs> to go by so um we um gonna get started because it takes a little while for it to cook so linda we um you want me to go ahead and get the uh, in here yeah. is this still boiling yeah i boiled water i'm using the um large uh nine quart pan and my water is boiling and uh we're gonna put peppers first of all uh i, I guess i should have told them what i done i cut the bell peppers in half and i seeded them let's see if you can see that i seeded them cleaned them out and let me t show you when you're slicing them and cleaning it out leave that stem on there because if you cut that out that doesn't give enough room for the uh, meat mixture to stay in it. So leave your stem uh, part on there. And um, and then Linda's gonna put them in boiling water. And I've used four, four bell peppers. I'm gonna cut this on. And she's gonna get, to get all the bell peppers in there. And you just cook them till they're a little tender. And this right here has got, um, I'm gonna show you what it is. This right here is Italian sausage, and I just bought a package, and the package has uh, five in it, and I, I put two of them in here. I split them open and took the casing off. You can buy this Italian uh, sausage in a, in a pound like you do the hamburger, but I bought the um, one that's in the little links because I use it sometimes. And then I, um, I used almost a pound of hamburger meat. Me. And I've got that started cooking, and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. You're not going to use the timer on there. No, I'm not. Thank you, Linda. I have chopped up onions, and uh, I'm going to put the onions in with the meat. I chopped these up um, this morning, so y'all wouldn't have to listen to the pound. Here, do you want the lid on this boiler so we'll start uh, If again? you can, yes. And if you'll take that for me, sure. please. And then I'm just going to put this um, onion in with the uh, meat. This is uh, very lean ground meat. It's that 96 four. So it won't have any, a uh, lot of uh, oil in it. And fat or whatever it is in it. Yesterday, when I was at Walmart and Marshall, they had uh -huh. no, none of this, and they really? had no milk, oh, except okay. for the special milk. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It's, it seems like every time you go to the store, the grocery store, the shelves are less, you know, just never yeah, again. There's a lot of stuff they're out of. You know, I haven't been out of the house since Sunday. Are you serious? <laughs> That's a, uh, mark that down on the calendar. I haven't. Uh, I went to church Sunday and came home, and I have not been out of the house. Um, I'm trying, trying to, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to practice. <laughs> well, you are not going to have to I'm, be off your feet. Anymore. I have felt much better since I, I really haven't been doing a lot. I haven't even got my Christmas decorations down. Ever, ever. Few minutes, I'll go grab something, pick it up, and put it in a container. But I'm trying not to do overdo it. So yeah, but I got several more days for your yeah. surgery, and you don't need to overdo it. So uh, I, I'll get the tree down before 
I had my son, Chuck, to um, get the co empty containers out of the storage yesterday, and uh, so I can gradually start filling them up, and then he can take them and put them back in the storage. Your porch looks so pretty. Oh, thank so you. So inviting. I got so much that, uh, that Christmas decoration. Chuck's got to take it out of the yard. I don't think I ever even filmed any of my yard decorations that Chuck done. Well, we had some pictures, a few pictures. Yeah. That that had some to show some of the decorations that was really pretty. I just, um, Christmas just kind of flew by me this year because I just felt so yeah. Well, that smells good. That smells good. I like smell onions and frying or sauteing or whatever. Now, the recipe you not call for any salt, okay? Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. I can't understand that. Well, there's not the on there. Sausage would have some yeah, salt in it. Yeah, it's a little spicy, yeah. You can use whatever kind of sausage because, you know, they uh, an Italian sausage, they have sweet, mild, and hot, or yeah. spicy. And so, I didn't get the spicy, I should have, probably. We've been enjoying that sausage I got up at Trunks um, a week or so ago. I haven't made it. I haven't cooked that um, yet. I like the link. I didn't buy you any of the link. I, they they said on the package. I haven't paid link. you for that yet. You just don't know. I didn't, I didn't say that for that. I told you. I told you I didn't want no money for that. That was during Christmas, and I forgot. I, I forgot. You can forget about that. I don't want any money for that. Oh, that was you didn't it. I was just well, like, glad you know, because I had forgotten well, you're not going to pay me for it. Hi, there's one little piece of onion in there that I was going to put What? Yeah, let me have it, please. You know, sometimes you get yeah, a little piece, piece of, of onion. onion. I don't want that piece of onion in there. I'm not that crazy about onion anyway. And I sure don't want to bite down on the big piece. I think maybe that buzzer just went off. Uh, it's still a minute oh, uh, still over, the, over there, but if oh, you want me to take them out, I will. No, that's okay. I'll, uh, you can you can get a uh, push it down in there. Make sure. Well, I guess they all. You don't want to get them too soft that you can't pick right, up and they tear. Hard. But we just we want. And as you can see, I use different colors. I don't really like the green. Yeah. I just the, it, it the gives red me, and the yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna put these in ice water or not? Nope. I'm okay. just gonna drain them right side down. I'm gonna get a spoon and I will you know we stopped at that ice machine the other day. Yes. I'm gonna get I'm gonna Are order you? one of them. You want me to order you one? Uh where where from Amazon. Well I can order it. I'll order it. Linda, did you hear us talking about that? Mm -hmm. They sell on the counter. Them. I know I want one that's on my Amazon Christmas. Yeah. 24 to 26 yeah. pounds of ice a day. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? I highly I recommend y'all get one. I find a place to put me one because I, my free, free, like, freezer is too full to even have ice. My ice maker is not hooked up. Yeah. I have to get one of those things that they sell at Walmart. Yeah. And we had gone to so many ice makers, and I just think it'd be nice to be yeah. able to have ice and not have to run to the town to get some. Right. So this, my onions is, my meat is done. Now I could have lifted this collar. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to take it out like this. We're through with this burner right there. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. You, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turn those upside down where the water drain oh, out of okay. them. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I need to okay. Just drain them upside down. Now, I put a um, uh, can of uh, tomato sauce uh, in this, and I put a little, um, I put a little uh, garlic powder and a little bit of basil in here. I don't think the recipe didn't call for that, but I did. Uh, this is tomato sauce, and uh, I need to open the tomatoes. And this is our can opener which is just, uh, that I love so much. Because uh, it goes around, and um, and whenever it just releases, you'll feel it release, you turn it the opposite direction, and then you just... And it, the recipe calls for chunky tomatoes, 
But I'm just, I'm just using diced tomatoes. I'm mixing that tomato sauce in here. And I'm putting um, some water in this. I'm putting rice. I'm putting a can of whole kernel corn, undrained. It just seemed like that needs some salt, don't it? Yeah, Mike laughed at me for all that rice I cooked the other day. Oh, said, yeah. You know you cook way too much <laughs> rice. And I said, yeah, I think I told him I cooked too much. Okay. And I'm going to put half of this. I mixed the, the tomato sauce and the chunky tomatoes in this, and I'm going to put about half of it in here. And I'm using... This is red wine vinegar. I'm putting it in the in this mixture. You get some on you? <laughs> yeah, my clean apron. Oh, what that, <laughs> did I slosh it on there when I pulled well, it in I was here? standing in the way. It wasn't well, anything to do with you. I wiped it off. I got okay. it. So, just stir it around. Yeah, it may need a little bit of salt. I think it does too, Linda. And I'm going to put some in it. Fry some. I'm just going to check it in there. I'm going to put a little pepper in it too. That's very pretty. It's such a pretty color. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, didn't you, Linda? <laughs> No, it says cover simmer it for 20 minutes. Okay, and then you cook it in the oven yeah. too then, right? Yes. So it wants the rice to yes. be pretty much done. Yes. Yes. So just turn it down and simmer it for about 20 minutes. And I'll throw all my candy stuff here away. And, um... Let that rice get done. Because actually what you're doing is, um... When you're putting them in the um, in the bell peppers, you put some water in your in your pan. This is like a nine by thirteen inch pan. This is our enamel uh, uh, stone uh, baker. I gave one of those away. Yeah, I put a little bit more. Yes, yeah, she did. I, I gave one away uh, yeah, last month. I so you've given. So I've away. given. Some, yeah. I put a little water in the bottom of this because we're going to, once we fill the peppers, we put them in here and um, let it, uh, and, uh, and then I'm going to pour the rest of the red wine vinegar into this. This right here is just a sauce that you use afterwards. You know how when you, it's going to, when they come out of the oven, they're going to be uh, not dry, but they're going to be thick. Yeah. And this is just extra that. you can add to okay. it. That's yeah. why it's called. It's real good. You mix it good. together. So we'll use that later. And all this right here is. I'll take that. All that. And, um, and then we put the cheese in there after um, after it's done. So. All so right. um, why don't we see if anybody's got any questions? Yeah. Um, what brand can opener did you just use? This can opener is Pampered Chef. Smooth Edge. Smooth Edge, and it is fantastic. I mean, it has, like you cut the can, it has, you know how, uh, it's smooth. It does not have that cut, that sharp edge. You just put your can, well, I didn't got, put your can right there. This right here goes underneath it, and then you, it tightens. 
and what and when it whenever you can feel it tight and then when it's gone all the way around it releases it, it you can feel it, the tension uh, leave and then you just turn it the opposite direction and that releases it and then this little claws here you put on the side of the can mash that button and it holds it pulls it right up I love it Anyway, uh, get a good facial here. Oh, <laughs> the steam off that water. Yeah. Uh, I don't guess you needed this, did you, Mary? No, I did not need that. Okay, I sure didn't. Um, anyway, so any other questions? Where'd you get your shirts? Oh, Gillard's. <laughs> Mary bought these for us. Aren't they pretty? And let me get our, our purple sweater. That, um, Becky, yeah, we don't we don't have our sweater on here in the kitchen, but we both got one. One of our followers, Becky gave Coleman from Mendenhall. Hall. Yes, she gave this to us last February when, when we did the meet and greet. It matches our so shirt with that, and that's us. what I, that's yeah. what I wore over here this yeah. morning. Thank you, Becky. Yeah, we love it. And also, Linda, um, hand me that box there. We got um, um, we've gotten server gifts lately. Thank you, Linda. Uh, actually, um, this one right here, uh, I think I might have mentioned it. Where's my little plaque? My little wooden plaque? There it is. Uh, Jennifer Asker. Asker. Yes. Uh, uh, sent us count your blessings. And that's it both of us one. Yeah. I love it. I love that saying. I do too. I put on my sweatshirt the other day that I forgot who it was. It gave us a sweatshirt. I know. Was that Sheila? I think it was Sheila Hensley. No, who was it? Not Sheila Hensley. No, English. 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 Sheila English. 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 Gave us a sweatshirt. I put that on and I just love it. It's really it. warm. So warm. It's real warm. It's anyway, count your blessings, a little plaque, and I love that, Jennifer. Thank you very much. And then we got a package from um, Australia. Karen, I think it is it. Karen C C Carter. Uh, Karen Coulter. Coulter. If okay. I'm pronouncing that right. C o Karen Coulter. Uh, um, from Australia. Yeah. Sent us some. Um, this is a koala bear, I believe is what this is. Cocktail. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? I love that. Thank you so much, Karen. And a koala uh, um, coaster. Coaster. And then uh, and then the other one was um, a kangaroo. Kangaroo uh, cocktail and a kang kangaroo coaster. So. Thank you very much, Karen. We love them. They're so that's so, so pretty. pretty. I love cocktails. I love cocktails. I have some for nearly every occasion. <laughs> I know. I just put one out. I this, love them. Uh, yesterday <laughs> for uh, for Valentine's. Yeah. So, um, any other questions? Not that I can think of right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, um, we're going to be doing some things for Valentine's mm -hmm. uh, yeah. coming up. Um, I'm going to do something that. I did years ago, and I'll tell you when I did it. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is, but it's going to be something real special. And we're going to do these early enough for y'all in case y'all want to make some for your family, for your spouses, for your kids or grandkids. Um, Misty was a little girl. Uh -huh. We lived in Mississippi. And um, I was babysitting her one day, and I told her, I said, let's make these for your mom and dad for Valentine's Day. And so we did. But what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make a big one. And, and I'll give you a little hint. It's something to do with the cake, but it's a special cake. And we're going to make little ones so we can decorate them different ways and show you all how to do. So um, I'm excited about that. And then uh, you got some things you're going to do, too, for Valentine's. Yes, I, um, we're going to do some... Um well, actually, I'm going to get little Linda to do it. She's a specialty in, in uh, strawberry, dipped strawberries. She's a professional with it. She did them, she did them for the church years ago, yeah. and she got, really, beautiful. she got really good at it. So we're going to let her show you how to do that. So y'all, if y'all want to give cover, chocolate-covered uh, strawberries for Valentine, well, she will yes. be glad to show you how and to do that. And we're going to do that in yes. time for them yes. to be able to yes. do it, too. Yes. And next week, um, of course, y'all know Mary's having surgery on Monday. Um, and for our members, we're going to video our journey for the members. Um, is that right? Yes, yes, that is right. And um, and then I believe that little Linda is going to be staying, should I say this? Yes, be, I she's going to be with Mary. Um, after a surgery because, you know, they, they will minimize how many people can be there. And um, so Carla and I will be 
doing the cooking next week. Mm -hmm. So um, y'all get a treat because Carla will be there uh, with us because she'll be coming down. Well, Linda's gonna do one day and Carla's gonna do one day. Is that right? We may Maybe. we may we may do Maybe. that. We may alternate. Uh, it's gonna be depending on how you're feeling. If Linda's comfortable enough to. Well, not, not that she couldn't leave her in good hands with Carla, but... Just I, say Linda's bossy without saying Linda's bossy. <laughs> I, do I done forgot what it was. I was in the hospital for one time. I was in there for several days. And it was been a few years ago. It was, I think it was my heart. I, 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 they was trying to find out what was wrong. I didn't, it was just, you know, how it is. They run up a bill. I was in there for about three days. Linda would not go home. I kept yes, telling her I, I wasn't that. sick. They was running tests, and she would not leave. She was would not leave. Well, at, she at wanted all. to make sure you're all right. She didn't want to miss something the doctor said. Okay. So, anyway, so um, I will have somebody with me next week, either Little Linda or Carla. So, um, y'all join us. Make sure you join us next week. We won't have Mary there in person, but she'll be with us in spirit. I'm only going to be out one week, y'all. I'm getting <laughs> back on my feet. I'm going to do everything I'm supposed to do, and I'm going to be back on my feet the next week. Well, we're going to have some restrictions. Well, there will be some restrictions. Um, yeah. And we may have to just, um, you well, know, let her tell us what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I think I, she can manage that. I won't have a problem with that. I can tell you. <laughs> I can boss you. You may not like it. Uh, somebody said one time you can, the older you get, the more you get by with, but I'm not so sure if that's true or not. It's, it's so funny. As you age, you're not you're not quite as, as um, and I don't mean this saying things ugly, but you're you're a little bit more flexible in saying what you think. You're a little more vocal. You're, young. you're a little bit more vocal. I used to not be so vocal. I mean, I've always been a little Mama was on the like bossy that too, side. Though. You but remember? You know, but you know, I know. I know what I thought. Mm, I, I, I've been praying about that. Lord, help me not to, to, um, to be so outspoken. I, I just I speak my feelings before I think is what I do. I sometimes. think that's part of age. And uh, I remember one time when, and this is this is completely true, y'all. One time uh, after Mama started getting older, and she would say she would say something, and one time she said. Uh, Lynn and Charles likes to talk about their sale. <laughs> 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 and I, I have thought about that so many times because it's true. We do like to talk about our sales. And you know what Mama told me one time? And it hurt my feelings because it was not, you know, it wasn't like Mama. I was starting telling her something. It was some kind of, I don't know if it was a problem with one of the kids. You know how kid stuff, you know, or, or my husband. I don't know what it was, but I was complaining. I should have said that. And you know what mama told me? She said, I don't want to hear it, Mary. She said, <laughs> she said, I can't do nothing about it, and I don't want to know about it. <laughs> and so, you know what? I got to understand that now. Well, I do. I just finished reading um, Mama's book over the weekend, the manuscript that our cousin typed for us. And a big shout out to Karen. I mean, yes. she she did a job and yeah. did a good job doing this. But um, I what and once y'all get her book and you see what we're talking about, people of every generation are different, mm -hmm. and with every generation, there's a little bit lost and a little bit new added. And when Mama's generation was coming up, um. They talked and thought and worked a certain way. Mm -hmm. And um, and then when we came along, we didn't have to wash clothes by hand. We didn't have to haul water from the spring to wash. And we, so, so things changed, changed a little bit different. Yeah. But it was really, um, and even though I have read, I guess I, I may be wrong in saying this, I think I'm the only one of her kids that has read this book through and through all the way through four weeks I, it. I don't um I haven't read it all the way through. So I, I have read it, it, but when I read it in proper context, a uh, context, context the way that uh, Karen put it together in chronological order, um I laughed and I cried and I laughed and I cried and I I just every time I would read it I'd give a section out to read and because I was making notes if there was anything that I needed to change it. I'm going to tell y'all something. Our mama did not graduate from high school, but she was, she was smart. a very, very smart. smart woman. She had 
there was very few even grammar changes that had to be made to this and she she had history she she had notes and dates some of this dates back to the I 1800s know. when i was reading that family history i thought my goodness you know all these dates and and all this i can't remember all my history like she does i really I can't know. and the only oh, thing and and karen our our cousin she even researched these dates to make sure they were right the only thing that i found i mean there was a couple little uh, a few little uh, um, oh, just just like a, where an S should be added or an S shouldn't be there or something, a few little grammar things, but um, she had Mary and Bobby's wedding day yeah. wrong. Yeah. Or Charles, no, was Charles, Charles and, and Linnell's wedding day wrong. She had and she had it reversed with yeah. Mary and Bobby's. Right. And um, I knew when I read the first part of it that that was wrong, but then when I read it again, I, and I didn't even realize it at first that it was your and Bobby's wedding, that right? wedding day. I wedding. hadn't got that far yet, so. And I knew I've been reading all the history. <laughs> I knew that Charles she, and Linnell got married on June the 5th, 1960, right, uh, June yeah. the 4th, 1965, yeah. right. because it was right before we moved to Mississippi. But um, um, anyway, it amazed me at how Mama was able to put this. And I Mary... Know. How old was she? It was in 95 that she wrote this book. Oh, she was born in 25. So what What was that, 95? She was 70, 70 years, years old, old when she wrote this book. Yeah. And um, it just, I guess it just reinforced, um, it makes you appreciate your parents and your grandparents even more. Yeah. And great-grandparents, a lot of it was the history about our great-grandparents even more so than now because you saw all the hardships that they yes. went through yes. and everything that they had to deal with and there were no not many agencies back then and and if there, the agencies that were available our family didn't want to have nothing to do with them because yeah. they didn't want handouts you yeah. know and we all heard us it say goes, that word it goes all the way back yeah has anybody else asked any questions linda no um so um I am, I am super stoked that we're going to have um, this at the publishers right. very shortly. Right. Very, very, very shortly. We're going to have it. Um, and uh, something new we wanted to tell about our our uh, members page. Okay. On our members page, on the recipes. Now, whenever you go to look up the recipe. We have the video that we did of that recipe on that same page, and all you have to do is click on it, and you can watch the video. If you're going back to to, um, to make it, and you got all your ingredients, then you can. Um, if you if there's some part that you want to to uh, double check, to double check, yeah. we got the video right there. You don't have to go look for it. So that's yeah. another bonus. Thank you, Linda, Linda for doing that. Linda's yes. work been working really hard to and we yeah, got you yeah. too. That's YouTube. only for January though. That starts from January on. Yeah. Oh, not that's past right. recipes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Linda. Um the videos are not attached to the recipes up until now. This is the first week, right? I, I did last week. So okay. January. So starting January. Just January. That uh option is available right. to have there. Right. And we are so excited about getting the videos on YouTube, which Linda has worked day and night to get that done. And we're so excited about that. So if y'all haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, um, yes, please do ahead. so. It doesn't yes. cost anything. Just subscribe to it. Tell your friends about us. And yeah. it is um, it's uh, Pinky Mouse Kitchen. If you just go straight to YouTube, it's Pinky Mouse Kitchen. But if you want to, if you have a problem finding it, uh, you go to our website, www.pinkymallskitchen.com, and you scroll all the way down at the bottom, and there's three little icons. It's the third one. The first one's F for Facebook. The second one is for Instagram. Instagram. And then that third one is YouTube. It's got a little arrow on it. Is that what you call it? Uh, a triangle. Triangle. It's a play button. Is that what it is? Okay. okay, and you hit that, it takes you straight to our videos, and then it, then you and then it says at the top of the page uploads, and if you hit that, all of them will pop up. All of I'm videos. not I'm not real up to the terminology, uh, so thank you, Linda, for letting us know what yeah. we don't know. I'm trying to say an error and all that. There's a play button. I don't know what all this technology is. Oh goodness, but, I don't either. Uh, we got about three more minutes. This should be thickening up. 
Yeah, that's cooking real good. It smells good, too. It hasn't picked enough as good as I'd like for it to be, the way my bell peppers usually are. Well, the rice is probably not quite done I'm gonna yet, put, either, is I, it? I'm going to put a little bit of cheese in there. It'll help thicken it up. That was cheddar cheese. Someone wants to know where do you go to become a member? Uh, you go to our page, pinkandmileskitchen.com. To our website. Website. Yes, to our website. And, um, and then from there, um, uh, you just click on membership, right? Yes. And when you click on membership, it's going to ask you uh, information. Um, I think it's your personal, personal information, information and, and, and you sign up, and it's five ninety nine a month um, plus tax. Plus if tax. Any tax in your area, and um, it'll um, and you create your own password. We have no control of your password once you create it. That belongs to you. Yes. And uh, and then Linda, and then after you become a member, uh, <laughs> there's also a uh, what button is it? It's called account. Account. So once you create your account. There's a button on on our on our page that you can click on account and you can do anything you want to in, in it on there. You can um, uh, check your credit card and your uh, I guess it's your password on there. You can somewhere. look at your order. Look at your order. Everything you've ordered from us will be on that account page and that's yeah. your that's your page. Everybody has their own page uh, when you become a member. So. And we hope that y'all will share us. We have lots of new uh, viewers, yes, new followers. Do. And uh, just keep in mind that our Facebook page is public. Uh, you do not have to join a group. So like and follow us. Tell us, uh, tell your friends about us. Tell your friends about our YouTube channel, about our website. And um, we are excited to uh, grow our audience this year. And uh, so we would like for y'all to share us as yes. much as you can. Yes. Um, so, and subscribe. Uh, right, and there's a little um, there's a little bell. It's on um, I think it's on uh, Facebook or it's on YouTube. Both. It's on both. There's a little bell, and if you hit that, that's notifications. That will let you know yes. when we're on again. So if you watch it you know, on YouTube or Facebook, if you've hit that little bell, that shows that you will get notified. And I forgot to do create events this week, so there was an event created for today, and I'll try to remember to create them for tomorrow and Wednesday, but we are on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 10 o'clock Central Time. We're in Texas, so our time zone is Central. So um, if you're, I believe when your notification comes up, it is just to the time zone you're in, correct, so. Linda? I think so. Um, so keep that in mind, too. All right. It did when we were in New York. Remember, I called you. Yeah, I was like, why are you on at 11? Yeah, I'm pretty so. sure that, that it does. All right. Now, I've done stuffed pear peppers before, and I'll be honest with you. This is not, not my recipe. It's in my cookbook, but it was, uh, who was it that did this? I think that was your. This is your recipe, Linda. <laughs> I mean, it's probably been so long since I've cooked it. I and uh, know. when I've done stuffed peppers before, they weren't quite this juicy, but we're cooking them in the oven. So that's so probably a good thing. It probably, yeah, it's, it probably mm -hmm. has to be. I'm going uh, uh, to put, uh, I'm gonna put the rest of this cheese you in there. You're going to pick these up and, put, and do them by hand and then put uh, them in there? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, if you don't mind, Linda, I'm going to turn this off. And you're just handy one, and I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to get a different spoon. That spoon's a little big. A little bit too big. I, you know what, it might be better for me. Put I, put here, water, yeah. Yeah. I put water um, in the bottom of this pan so it wouldn't burn. I don't know. Y'all better let you see well, that. Well, you want to do that, how you want to put them in there. I think it'd be easier to just to... Just I don't care, Linda. Just put one in here. It doesn't matter at all. You want them turned the same way? Or or it doesn't matter. The other way. I don't think it really matters, Linda. Just pull them. I think all eight's going to fit in there. I was wondering if it would. I hope it does. And you cook this un uncovered. And it says 30 minutes. We're going to be talking for sure this morning. 
I made stuffed pepper, peppers a lot. Bobby liked them, my husband. And I cooked Mama them Mama used to make them too, Mary. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm wondering if this may be her recipe. It might be. Like I said, I... Um, I've never, I, I, I've made stuffed peppers, but you know how it is whenever you start cooking, you just, you just do it. So I don't, I, I've never actually followed a recipe before. But well, this, uh, this is a lot of uh, stuff you can have some left. It is. You? Yeah, well, I think it's intended to. Uh, you know how you like a little extra filling? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to put as much as I can. Them. Chuck called me last night. He said, Mom, what are you cooking tomorrow? He's I told him he likes for lunch. lunch. Yeah, right. exactly. He likes stuffed peppers. He's like his daddy. And you know what? I, I don't think you call for it, but I think I'm going to, whenever, um, just before it gets done, I'm going to add a little more cheese on top. Okay. That'll be good. Well, that's probably all I, and also it depends on the size of your peppers. Yeah. You know, they, some of these peppers weren't very big, uh, but I couldn't find them. They were not, I, the green ones, there was a lot of, um, the green ones was big, but them yellow and, um, and orange ones, I could not, um, it looks beautiful. I preheated, I pre preheated, I can't even talk, the oven. Now see, things like this, I won't be able to do it whenever. No, I, I probably should have done that for you, no, too. that's okay. Yeah. That's right. And have filling left. And this right here is a remainder of that um, can of uh, chunky, or the, I put diced chicken, I mean diced tomatoes, um, and sauce. That's just extra sauce for you to have um, after when it comes out of the oven. Um, yes. Uh, the timer is how many minutes? 20 uh, minutes? Put it 25 minutes. 25 minutes, okay. You got 25 minutes, so it, uh, and, uh, I did put a little red wine vinegar in that, which I don't always do on my peppers. But, um, let's see, we'll toss that on the counter there. Um, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm, I was just thinking about, um, yesterday, I guess it's cause I've slowed down a lot. Um, it just, um, seems like it's kind of reality kind of hits you, you know, the Christmas is over, the rush is over, and now I'm trying to think what's next. I know my surgery is next, but I mean, you know, thinking about what what I can do. Um, because you know why? Because we always we have always got a project have, going on. We have on. to have a plan, the same thing to do. with Mama. Yeah. Mama done the same thing. Valentine's coming up, and, and uh, I'm probably not going to be doing... Uh, any, uh, I don't know, the church, I'm thinking about the church, I will be over it, but I don't know if the church is going to do something with Valentine's or not, I don't know, I think the younger crowd usually uh, likes to do something like that, and so I'm yes. not as involved in that, we usually do have something at the church, but I, um, I let the younger generation do that, because <laughs> it's mostly for couples, I remember we, the church used to have um, go out, uh, couples on Valentine's when you go to a restaurant mm -hmm. and uh, Bobby went with me one time and um, I forgot what brother Boatman No, he didn't he didn't ask us to sing this song, but I, I, at Bobby's funeral, you know that um, Linda, what's the name of that song that daddy always? Oh, um May the May the I don't know the name of it, but it may it's uh, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Be, your, be yours, love. Yeah, be yours, love. I just had to sing it. And whenever Bobby died, um, that was one of the songs that Linda and Carla sang because at the funeral. He, they grew yeah. up with them. Yes, him he, like that I'm, uh, yours, love. I don't know if y'all ever heard of the song before or not. I, y'all got a copy of it, don't you, Linda? I have it framed in yeah. my bedroom. Uh, uh, it's real pretty. And whenever they sang it, Brother Boatman said, if he'd have known that Bobby liked that song, he would have had us to sing it at that Valentine party we went to as a couple. It was, it's, it's beautiful words. I wish I could think of them. I used to sing it all the time, but I'm not fixing to sing it now. <laughs> it just talks about, you're my love. It's very uh, sentimental. It's very sentimental. And uh, even when his hair turns, when his hair turns gray, I still, you're still my love. It, it's real, it's real pretty. I might get those words out and tell them around Valentine's mm -hmm. or something, Linda. 
Yeah, that well, would be a, it's on yeah. a bookshelf in my bedroom. You can get them anytime. Okay. So is anybody else ask any questions? There was one, and I was going to remember it. And guess what? That's I didn't okay. remember it. It's hard, it's hard to watch, uh, uh, you know, do the camera and, and watch the comments, too. <laughs> it anyway. is hard. Well, you know, um, uh, box suppers. Do you remember when they did box suppers? Yes, I do. I do. I sure And do. this was something kind of on the lines of Valentine's. Yes. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure, you'll have to correct me because mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly how it went, but didn't the lady fix a box supper and then the men would buy them or they, choose one? It, it would just, everybody would make, um, the, the ladies would make a box and then the men would bid on on the box that, he, that they wanted to buy. And the thing is that she was supposed to bid on your wife's yeah. and <laughs> to then see you, how much you would pay, how much you'd pay to, to get a box for, that your wife fixed up to eat. And they did this years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And we have got it decorate yeah. the boxes really yeah. pretty yeah. and um and then it would be like a kinda like a little supper, yeah. you know, or yeah. something. It'd be um, the meal. Yeah. I, I kind of a little bit of what I was reading in Mama's book uh, um, she mentioned something about yeah, that, not kind of like a fundraiser. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Which was um, something that um, they would have done years ago mm -hmm. for entertainment when they had yeah. parties. They had parties yeah. when uh, back in mom and daddy's age and in and our grandparents' age. They were a lot different it's from the pound parties. parties. They they and had pound them. parties, and um, the other thing Mama called them was play parties. Do you remember that? I don't remember. I, all I remember is her calling them pound parties. Well, they had they pound. Call, they had poundings too, okay, okay. but um, they had what they call play parties. And uh, back then, people walked. You know, there wasn't too many people that had vehicles. They were just starting to come up to have, like Mama called them hoopies. Where yeah. Pauline would buy yeah. an old vehicle and cut the back end of it off and make a truck bed out of it. But um, mostly, when they went, they walked. Yeah, yeah, they did. They walked everywhere. And you know what? We didn't think nothing about walking ourselves. No, we just walked the town. They we walked, walked the town, walked the church. Yeah, you know? we, we did walk. And where we walked wasn't near as far as where Mama no. did walk. Mama and Uncle Herschel was six years old, and they walked over three miles a, each way to school mm -hmm. and back. Yeah, I know. And so if people used to rain or shine, <laughs> just like, like we were talking earlier, things have, you know, we don't think anything to drive 30, 35 miles just to go yeah. to what we call town, you know, to a store or when something. Linda, when Linda was uh, born, the year she was born, we lived in a little town called Goodman. Community. Over in St. Augustine County. Yeah, in St. Augustine County. And it was 25 miles from Nacogdoches. And let me tell you something, we didn't go except for when we had to, and we'd take mall, and we, we'd stay all day. We'd take an ice chest to put our, our meats and, and cheeses in, and uh, we'd only make one trip. One trip in the night, don't you say that was 25 miles? We do that all the time, right? It yeah, was, but it's a just, different world back too, then. It was just too far and for us to go. Do you remember the um, little store? It was a little mom and pop store. Um, and Christina, husband, is one of our um, friends on here, and I think she's a third. You talking about cousin. butlers? You talking about the butlers? butlers. The butler how, store. How far was that from the farm? Uh, well, it depends on if you want to cross Cottonham Bridge. Well, it, it, but through there is probably not, but three or four miles oh, or five. It probably wasn't that far. It so, seemed like it, but it probably wasn't. At probably. the farm, Ma and Paul, when they, and I know I'm rambling and going from one thing to the other, but to get a picture, if you look at a map and you look at Nacogdoches, Nacogdoches is kind of a, oh, how would you say it was shaped? It's kind of like this, goes down in a point and comes back up. It's a pretty big county. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. in southern Nacogdoches County, um, you go you go 21 east, and that goes to Melrose, and then Sharina, and then you take 95 from Sharina, and that goes over to 103, which is a road that runs parallel to 21. 95 is a farm-to-market road. Well, Ma and Paul lived uh, off of Cottenham Bridge Road, and we, yeah. uh, it has a county number yeah. to it now. Yeah. But that road went to the river, yeah. and that was the dropping off place. And Mom and Paul's farm was the last house on the road at back when we at that kids. time. Yes. Now, now they got other. Now houses. there's other people that live down there, but um, there was a wooden bridge that was uh, and this the Toyak River was 
It was a deep river. Yeah. It yeah. was yeah. not it was a stream. A deep, yeah. It was a or, deep river. It was a deep river, and that's where Daddy done most of his fishing, and Polly and mm -hmm. a bunch of them. But uh, as long as this bridge was there, we could go across it. The road wasn't paved, was it? Oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. It was red dirt. Yes. yes. It wasn't like it was yes. in Nacogdoches. We had sand. That but bridge the farm, was a it was one lane bridge. And there were no, wood. no railings on the side no, of it. It was no. just a wooden bridge across the river. And as long as it was there, we would go over there across Uncle to, to Uncle Hebron's. Mm -hmm. And that was Polly's Aunt brother mm -hmm. and Aunt Annie. Mm -hmm. And then we would go on up to Butler's store. And that's where Ma and Paul bought the most of their groceries. Yeah, yeah. Remember when we go to church? Because uh, the church wasn't too far from the Butler store. Um, that we we would go early, you know, and when we say early, we're talking about an hour or two All before right, church. Right, two before hours. church, Paul Lee would. I mean, you better be ready too. If you want to ride with him, you better be ready. He liked to visit because he would go and stop at that store, the Butler store, and buy us a soda pop, a candy, and sit there and visit with them before we went on to church. Mm -hmm. So we and we got to church early too. But she, he liked to visit with everybody. Everybody knew Paul. Everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody, everybody knew Paul. Knew. Um, when we went to that store, and this is after Daddy had was already in in and out the of the hospital. VA hospital in Houston. We stayed. We stayed with our aunt some. We stayed with Mom and Paul some. We stayed with Pinky Mom and Pinky Paul some. Some of the times Mom and Paul came to our house in Nacogdoches yeah. and stayed with us. Yeah. So we were in different places, but at this time we were at the farm with Mom and Paul, and it was almost time for Mom and Daddy to come home on, I guess it was a leave or something that Daddy had got from the hospital, and Mom gave us some money. Okay. And um, I bought Mama a pack of clothespins, a wooden clothespin. Is that right? Yeah, I don't remember that. A pack of wooden clothespins. Yeah. And because I was so happy that mom was yeah, coming home and I wanted to buy yeah. her something. Yeah. And you bought her something too, but I do not remember what it was. But, yeah, but I, I know remember. I bought clothespins. And now back to Paul Lee. And this is something that's in mama's book. And uh, Paul Lee was so well known around the community. His name was Robert Daniel. He went by Rob. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. knew Paul is Rob. And y'all probably heard me say this before, but... Um, Paul was not a big man. No, he was he was kind of a small man. He uh, he spoke Spanish. Um, he was um, he was like Daddy. He bought and sold and traded. He farmed. He had a dairy farm. He had cattle. They grew gardens. They oh, grew yeah. watermelons. They did a lot of different things. And they, they had a dairy barn too. Yes, they had a dairy. He ran a dairy barn yeah, for several yeah. years. Uh, uh, they sold to the big trucks. And Paul Lee was, um, we talk about the Pinkstons a lot because we yeah. grew up beside Pinky Mom, Pinky Paul. But Paul Lee was, um, he was such a well-known man in the community. And Nacogdoches County, San Augustine County, Shelby County, Angelina County, and all these counties around Nacogdoches, Everybody knew Rob Lee. Right. Well, Everybody when, did. When they when they was going to church, uh, they would the the pat the ones that come through for evangelist holy revivals would stay with Mom and Paul. They did a lot of times. Yeah. Sister Jean did yeah. when she yeah. held yes. a revival yeah. there. Yeah. Well, um, and I knew this, but I had forgotten that they were over twenty one ministers at Paul's, at Paul's funeral. funeral. Yeah. Over twenty one ministers, yeah. Yeah. and he was known by everybody as an honest man. Now, was he perfect? No, he wasn't. I don't know of anybody that is except the Lord Jesus Christ. But um, he was, and Mama will tell you in the book that he had a temper. Yeah, Paul did. Yeah, I seen it one time. One time I seen his temper, one time. And it was over a patch of watermelons that the man had promised Daddy. They, we was all at, uh, at a... Um, at a place where we was buying two truckloads yes. of watermelons. Paul's truckloads and, pa and they, Daddy a truckload. And they loaded Paul's truck first. And then when it come time to load uh, my da Daddy's, uh, they said they... They, they wanted to give him calls. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Paul, I seen Paul's temper. And Daddy told him, he said, it ain't worth it. He said, it ain't worth it, Paul. It's, it, we just, and so we left without Daddy's loaded truck. But Paul Lee got mad at it. And I was a kid, but I remember because yeah, I'd yeah. never seen him mad before. So that, that's what Mary was, when she was talking about the temper, when he got mad was when somebody was going to do somebody that he somebody cared was, about wrong. Mm -hmm, yeah. And that's when he got mad and he stood up 
um, to whatever it was. He stood yeah. up. He stood up to it. He helped so many people in the community, and I think I may have told this before, but um, there was a friend of his, and I know exactly the house. It was on 21 before you get to Melrose on the right, going to Nacogdoches, mm -hmm. um, and he was friends with, had been friends with probably all of his life. And uh, he came to Paul Lee one day, and he said, Rob, he said, um, I'm not going to be here much longer. And you know, old people used to have a sense of kind of when they thought they was going to die or something. Mm -hmm. it wasn't, they didn't go to a lot of doctors, but they, they kind of had a sense of that. And uh, he said, I want you to promise me whatever his wife's name was, and I don't remember it, and I'm sure our cousins would know. But um, I want you to promise me that make sure that she has uh, firewood through the winter until Paul Lee died, got to where he couldn't. He had cords of firewood. He took them to her house, stacked them, delivered them, and stacked them so that woman never went without wood. He kept his word. Yeah, he was course, very, yeah. very yeah. big at keeping yeah, his word. Very big. Um, and something funny, I remember one time, um, we were talking about, where were we talking about traffic at? I was talking about traffic with some. I think it was Edward okay. the other day. Okay. Um, Paul Lee always said that he'd rather drive in Houston than he had in Nacogdoches. You remember him saying that? I don't, I don't remember him Because saying that. Nacogdoches, North Street, anybody that has been yeah. through Nacogdoches, North Street is a, it's a thoroughfare. It's 59, basically. What are the colleges on it? It's so, it's red lots, I mean, just business lots one lots after another. Lots, yeah. And it's really hard, it's really hard to, to drive, to especially if you're trying to get out and go against the traffic. And there's not a red light there. Um, it's it's really hard yeah, to get out. He always had but um, uh, they won't. They never would widen it after the original original mm -hmm. widening it because yeah. the university is on one side and there's just places that yes. it's just a. It's, it's too late now going both directions. It's right. too late. But it used to not no, be but one light. Didn't it? Didn't used to be but one. But and that's why he said he'd rather drive in Houston than he had in yeah, yeah, just Yep, yeah. he sure did. And Ma Lee never drove. As far no, as I know, she had. never I got behind a wheel. I don't think she did either. I don't think she did. Paul always had nice vehicles. Uh, he was totally opposite from Pinkie Paul because the only time in my life I ever remember Pinkie Paul getting behind the wheel is he wanted Charles to teach him how to drive. And he bought this Jeep. It was a dark green, army green Jeep. He paid $50 for it. Mm -hmm. And he bought it for Charles. Yeah, he did. He did. Or so he said. Uh, but he wanted to learn how to drive yeah. that, that car. Yeah. And so Charles tried to show him, well, one day Pinkie Pie was gone, and so was the Jeep. And he attempted to drive to Sharina, yeah. and he, he had a wreck. And it, I'm sure it wasn't a bad wreck, yeah. Yeah. but it was a wreck. And he never, as yeah, far as work. to my knowledge, he never got behind a wheel no, again. I don't think he Pinkie did. Pinkie Ma never drove. He paid me and Charles to take him to the store. To prove them. Two, he, three miles. And yeah. you 50 cents a piece. 50 cents or buy us a soda pop. <laughs> Usually buy us a soda pop and give us a quarter or 50 yeah. cents. But we're happy to get it. But he, you know, sometimes he'd go two or three times a day. I know, I know. We, we was, we, to drive, anything, get, be able to drive, you know. And y'all didn't have license, no, did you? No, we didn't. Not at that time, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I went and got my license. Oh, I was so nervous. I was so nervous, but it's a lot different. I was probably, I don't know, I was pretty good. I didn't take no class or nothing. You know, I had to We didn't take special test. ed. None of us took special uh -huh. ed as far as I know. But um, I, I think I was probably, I'd have been 18 before I ever got my license, but I drove before then. <laughs> yeah, you drove a long time before then. I remember this one car that Charles had, and I was going to mention to this, this to him uh, when they were here the other day, and I didn't. I know, I'm pretty sure it was a dark color car. It might have been black, and I don't remember what kind it was. He will know uh, that we went to school in, and this was around the time, this is before he bought his new car. It was before Daddy died, and okay. I, I know about the time it was. It was about 1963. That's when the president was shot, and then Daddy died the mm -hmm. next year in, no, in uh, mm -hmm. November. But... Um, we, he drove that car to school, and it didn't have no brakes on it. Do you mm -hmm. remember? No. I remember working on them cars with him. I helped Charles when he worked on cars. I'd help him. I'd, I'd, be, I'd get inside the car, and he'd be in the motor, and he'd say either turn it over, you know, or tap it, or, or, or all that. And, oh, my goodness, 
I learned the name of tools and everything because he would say, hand me this kind of wrench, hand me that kind of wrench. And um, I never got in on any of that. It no, wasn't my forte. No, I, but I helped Charles do a lot of mechanic. And I remember he tried to time it right. And of course, it wasn't near as much traffic then as it is now, even though Polly didn't like to drive in it. Um, we were coming from school. Um, and it was, uh, we were coming down Fredonia, you know, there by the Fredonia Hotel at the red light at North Street in Fredonia. Yeah. And he was trying to time that where that light would be green. Yeah. And so we could go across the road. And he With did. Well, he I, did. Don't, I, I can mess up. You know, you just downshift it, if you know where I'm talking <laughs> Whenever you don't have brakes, you just downshift it. Slow it down. Yeah. yeah. You just put it in a low gear and it will, it will slow you down, so. I'll be really glad when we can uh, go to Nacogdoches and go to Lufkin and um, see yes. our aunts, but go to Nacogdoches yes. and do a little bit of filming there. Y'all get to see a little bit of our hometown. Uh, downtown Nacogdoches has always been beautiful it's, to yeah, me. Yeah, it is. Uh, Brings back so many memories. It looks different in a lot of ways now than it did back then, but yet, you know, there's so many things. The buildings and the streets are the same. Yeah. Yeah. and the brick streets and it just brings back a it lot does. of memories it to does. be there. How, uh, how are we doing over here? We got about six more minutes to go. I have a couple questions. Okay. Okay, the first one is, is it snowing here? No, no it's not. No. And I don't know why that um, the windows at my house and at your house, when they're looking at it, it looks like they're not frosted and they're, the windows aren't dirty at your house or my house either. Yeah. But for some reason it's on the frosty. screen, it looks like a, looks like yeah. a, a white something. Yeah. But no, the sun's shining and it's, it's not snow. We don't get yeah. much snow here. Yeah. We got it last year. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah, last got, year. Oh, we, we got a big snow last year. And where did you get your rugs? Oh, these jacket ones? Yes. I think I got them in Hobby Lobby. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I did. I got it in Hobby Lobby. I guess I saw those until I, I, I um, saw them in your house. They're not expensive rugs. The one I'm standing on. This is the big, the good one here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the one I'm standing on here. I nor I used to have over here. It's um, what do you call? Who's that guy that does these? At all these uh, electrical appliances. What's his name? Uh, li um. Mr. Bob. No, I don't know. Electrical What's it? Oh, he he sells. He's he's a big chef. He's a chef, okay. and he sells all these electrical appliances. What is his name? Um. Anyway, that's that's what the man I'm seeing. And that's one that I got You're you. Probably talking about Emra, aren't you? Emra, that's who I'm talking about. Emra. I, that's the one I got you. Now they're cushioned, and they, they're very, when you're standing like this, it makes a difference. You may notice me going back and forth with one leg. I'm standing on this cushion, and it helps a I lot. I need to move over so you no, can no, stand no, no, on no, it. No, 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 no. I'm standing. I'm not. I'm standing on the. But I got those ones. I got the plaid ones just because of Christmas. I've done my a lot of my decorations in black and white chicken. So, um, do you ever cook chicken and liver or? Livers and onions. I sure it. have. I sure did. Have you ever cooked them? Um, I have Bobby not. Liked them. I have not. Mama loved chicken and uh, liver. Bobby and onions. loved them, and I, I have cooked a lot of chicken liver. Or, chicken liver. Chicken and liver or, or liver and onions? Liver and onions. Liver Speak and onions. liver. Because yes. that's what Pete yes, loves. Yes, I've cooked both. Mama. Yeah. Now, and I, you know what? I don't like liver uh, and onions. I don't like the liver. But it's something about it. If you cook it just right, Pinky Mall made the best. Mama loved hers. And I, I may just try that again sometimes because it's good if you cook it right. And the way Pinky Mall done it, she cooked it fast. She almost burned it. She cook it fast. She just keep it with the hot and turn it over and over and over. And then made a gravy. And she made, made gravy, gravy and then smother it in gravy for, for 10 or 15 minutes after. And it, it was delicious. I think it's just she cooked it so a fast. It could have been. It was really good. I know. I try that it. sometimes. It's really good. Bobby liked. He liked anything smothered in onions. Yeah. You know. So I cooked a lot of stuff like that. Turnip greens. What was the brand of ice maker that y'all were talking about? Um, the one that I looked at was Frigidaire, and um, and one of my friends on Facebook um actually showed his that he had bought, and oh, really? then I looked it up on online and I really liked they got a really good rating 
and it's a it's a portable. It sits on the, it's a countertop, and um, I guess you just plug it in and put water in it. I haven't I'm bought one yet, but I'm, I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one because I like ice. I can't hardly drink iced tea right now, but um, I like when I drink something. I like it in ice in the in summertime, ice. especially in in East Texas. Yeah. It's really nice to have ice available and not to have to fill up ice trays, which yeah. is what we do, yeah. and. Um, uh, because we can't keep an ice maker running because of our water. Now, what are you going to do at the ice maker? If the water, if the water uh, is not any good, don't you have to? I'll use spring water. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll, yeah, okay. I'll use that. Okay. I mean, our water is fine. It yeah. just has a high content of something in okay. it that ruins ice makers. Okay. Okay. So our, it's not anything wrong with our water. We have we we use the same water for ever since we've lived there yeah. for around 26 years. I don't drink water out of mine. I, we're on a community well. Yeah. And uh, I don't drink water out of this, out of my... You drink myself. the bottled water. Yeah. Yeah. And, but uh, you know, Molly, when they moved from the farm to Nacogdoches to Pine Lake Estates, uh, Molly could not stand that chlorine taste in water. And yeah. she would have one of her friends bring her water yeah. from the farm because that's, that's the only thing she'd ever do. I know. know. She had it that. had iron in it. Yeah, it did have iron, especially at the farm. It had mm -hmm. iron, it's iron real bad yeah. in it. It's probably yeah. why people who never did a mimic because yeah. they drink water with iron in it. <laughs> yeah, that's so much iron. I, I can understand that water down there. And oh, Sulphur, remember the house on yes. 21? Yes. The pink Paul and Pinky Paul rented that yes. old fish house. Smell. That water sulfur. was awful. What's the it, way it is left in? It was sulfur. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had to hold your nose to drink it. Yeah. It was so bad. I know. Well, now Lufkin's gotten better. When you go to a restaurant, used to, you wouldn't order water. And because it tasted so bad, it had so much like sulfur. sulfur. Yeah, the church, the campgrounds in Lufkin, they, uh, the uh, ladies' conference, they paid for to have special filters on the water fountains in in the tabernacle because, it was, so because bad. it was so bad. I mean, it was just un uh, we just couldn't stand it. It smelled so bad and dr and tasted so bad. But um, but it they didn't do that for a long time. So. We was, everybody was sure glad when they did. Okay, let me see what my instructions say. I think they're done. Uh, they got covered and and then uh, three more minutes, put some cheese on it and three more minutes. I'm just going to use the shredded cheese that I have already shredded. I'm not, I shredded. Do you want me to take this out for you, Mary? Uh, if you don't mind, Linda. I'm just gonna, we need to just melt some cheese on top of it. I shredded that cheese this morning, but I'm, I'm just gonna use this now. Whoops. You don't mind taking that out? Okay. It smells really good. And I'm just gonna, we're gonna put it back in. Uh -huh. yeah, for about three minutes just to melt the cheese. And it would be a lot better if I shredded just some little cheese out of that block. I had a block of cheese. But um, I'm not going to. When I was showing my Pepper Chef show the other day, I shredded some. And I should have shredded all of it, the whole block. Okay. Okay. Just long enough for that cheese to melt, which it, it be almost melted by the time. We can go ahead and get a saucer down, I guess. To okay. Put us some. Uh, put two. Linda, will you, will you need a bell pepper? You want? Okay, we'll just put that one back there. Got that it. goes to another set. <laughs> probably, um, probably need a knife, too, to yeah. cut it. So get it no steak knives, I guess. And just get it, get it good and hot. So you going shopping this evening? I'm going. You know, because we live 35 miles from town. When I leave Mary's, it's easier for me to go back to Longview than it is getting on the interstate. I hate getting on that interstate. I do too. I just won't want to get never on it. know when it's so going to be wrecks. one lane or when there's going to be a wreck and you're going to get stuck. So yeah. we go the back way. And I'm going to go through, uh, I want to go in TJ Maxx. Okay. I want to check on a couple things in Let there. Let me know what you find. Okay. I'll come through tomorrow. I'm not yeah. going to go It's go just, today. instead of making a special trip, it's easier yeah. when we're already going exactly. to stop by there. 
So my, my usual stops are TJ Maxx and Tuesday morning and probably about Dillard's. Once a month, <laughs> I'll go through Dillard's or yeah. something to see yeah. what they got. They got a lot of Markdown stuff. Do they? Yeah. I might need to go in Because they didn't have their sale this year. The oh, that's right. Sale. I forgot all about that. Things is just, I, I, because I felt bad, I just, I hadn't done my regular routine stuff. Because we always make that sale. Yeah, very first, we're always, always at Dillard's. Yeah. And um, I, I looked it up because I had thought about going by there mm -hmm. on the way home after yeah. our Christmas party mm -hmm. here. But I didn't because I knew it would throw me too late getting home. And I, I didn't want to get home after dark. But, um. Um, I looked it have, up and they did they not have it. And I asked the other day when I was in there, and uh, they said no, they didn't. And do you know Rhonda had surgery? Our regular sales uh, lady, Is she had surgery her? about I a week her? or so ago, okay. so she's not in there right now. She's okay. off. Okay. I know we used to fight the crowds to get those shoes yeah. and Dillard's and right pajamas uh, and pajamas. Yeah, pe petite yeah. pajamas. There's not too many places that carry petite pajamas. Um, you can order them from Kohl's. If you're lucky, they'll have your size. Um, and uh, Von Meyer carries them, and Dillard's carries them. But I looked the other day, and I saw, I like the ones that the tops are separate from the bottoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I, there was none of them. None of them at all. Linda used to get you used to buy their pajamas in there too, mm -hmm. and the only ones they had was the Ralph Lauren sets, and I don't like them because they're long sleeve, yeah. and I, I don't yeah. long sleeves are too hot for me. And I sleep in a flannel gown, long sleeve gown. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I like the I, I'm gold natured. I think it should be ready, Linda. Here, I'll give you that. All right, thank you. Let me turn that oven off. But they did she said what they had was mixed in with the others, but they had very, very few. And I was disappointed because I, I always usually try to buy two or three. Would you move that over just a pinch? Which way? That toward Linda. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Looks good, Linda. Those look real good. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna get them out. Let's see here. What would be the best? I guess just a spatula. Yeah. Yeah, we need to take a picture of that. Where's my camera? Uh, I have it. Is that yours? Okay, go ahead and take it for me, please. Thank you. So, Gary, what, what would be a serving per person? Would it be two per person, which would be a whole pepper? If they were if probably, it was like your main meal. Probably. One is probably all I could eat. I just want a piece of your oh, you just want a piece yeah, of it? I, I got stopped and got me a breakfast sandwich this morning, so I don't want a whole one actually part of it. And your peppers are, are tender. And that's uh, that's why you um, thank you. Boil them for four or five minutes in the boiling water before you put them in the um, oven. This looks really good. Mm. That's delicious. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. But it does need some salt. And I put some salt in it. To me, do you think it needs some more salt? A little bit. Yeah. So we need to add a little salt. About a teaspoon of salt in the recipe. <laughs> Was there too much pepper? No. No, it wasn't. Nope, not at no. all. It's not that rice right. absorbs a lot yeah, of them too. Mm -hmm. That's probably another yeah. reason it needs a little bit wow. more salt. But right. it's very good. It's very good. It's delicious, Mary. So, um, and if you want some crushed red peppers in it, you know, spice it up. Yeah. You can add that or just follow the recipe on our website. So we thank y'all for joining us and hanging in with us and hope you enjoy this recipe and don't forget to count your blessings. Absolutely. Thank you. We love y'all so much. Bye. Bye-bye.